guys, Creative Insight TV. How are we doing? How are we doing? Talk to me. Good, great, amazing, awesome. Love it, love it. And yourself, bro? Good, man. I'm feeling good, feeling blessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm feeling blessed. Always, man, always. I see like everyone's on a positive vibe right now. Everyone's just peacefully walking. How was it for you guys? The show was amazing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Every single artist delivered. They were on point. They were just fantastic. Absolutely. Oh, we love that, guys. How about yeah. you? Great show, man. I think it was it was a very chilled out vibe, you know, because I was here two weeks ago for Popcorn. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a great show as well. But this show was very chilled out. I liked the um, the lineup before, like Roman Virgo, Kabaka Pyramid. I think he smashed it. And yeah, Damien Marley, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like really first time that. seeing him, yeah. you know, obviously his dad performed there 44 years ago. So that's crazy. So yeah, he smacked it, man. I see everything goes back around everything full circle, goes, right? Full circle, yeah, Can man. Can I just say as well, right. because like with the recent events in London, you know, the rioting and everything yeah, yeah. else, Tonight was a true testament that you got every single one together, every single nation together, every single body just come together and they were enjoying themselves. It was really, really nice to actually see that. Really, really nice. Yeah. No, I love that, love that. And it's like you say, it's important now. It shows everybody is together now. Yeah. yeah? So yeah. reggae music and music can bring everyone yeah, together. It brings you know? It's possible to bring it together, right? And look, like I said, everyone's walking peacefully, right? So guys, tell me about Damien Marley. How did you guys start hearing about his music? For, from a kid, just from yeah, a kid. From when, for, I think from the first tune, the Jam Watch tune, that's when I yeah, first... Yeah, yeah. Well, that's I, when I, I think first I heard it on FIFA, you know? What year was that? Like, that was like, what, like 2006? I think so, I yeah. don't know what year, but I was a teenager, but yeah, from then, yeah. obviously, it's just, yeah, the, the guy's just been cold. Like, he's obviously, in terms of being an artist, he's like the most talented artist out of, out of all the sons. So, yeah, man. The youngest son as well. Young, youngest one as well. So, like, all the features that he's done over the years, collaboration with Nas, Nas yeah. massive. Yeah. Um, he did a few tracks from that, actually. The one with Nas, he's done, he's done a track with Jay-Z, like, five years ago, that Bab tune. So yeah, like he and Wizkid as well. So yeah, he's he's done a few like like major features. He's not he's done a lot of major features. He's got a big catalogue, so there were even tunes that weren't even played, but it just shows like the level that he's at. And of course he did the tribute to his dad as well. He did like about maybe five tribute songs. So that was nice. yeah, so, but yeah, it was, I was mad tired, this is just my horn just like all day. Yeah, just, man. How, how did you guys feel like when he when he did those tribute songs? How did it feel emotionally for you? It felt really, really good, you know? When I'm looking at the Marley boys, it reminds me of their father. They look exactly like their father, they sound like their father. You know, so yes, it was really, really good. I've never seen them before live. I've seen Remain Virgo, I've seen Steel Pulse, but I haven't seen the others before live. And you know, every single body, they turned up 100%, they turned up. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, for, for, yeah, for me, for, for me, for like when they did the Bob Marley tribute songs, I mean, I did expect it. For me, I feel like it didn't come across corny, like very, it didn't come across like a, like a karaoke, because I feel like Damien, like the way that he did it, like he puts his own spin on it. Yeah, okay. So I think that's what made it unique. And then at the end, they had like all, the, all everyone that was on the lineup, like Roman, like Kabaka, they had them all on just going bar for bar, like kind of like doing a remix of his tunes, like just adding their own spin to it. So that, that's what I feel like made it special that they added their own spin to it. So yeah, that yeah was definitely. beautiful, absolutely beautiful to see them all on stage and performing together. At the end, that was absolutely amazing. Oh, so they, they performed the songs at the end? Yeah, 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 yeah. everyone, yeah. everyone came on the stage. Oh yeah, and also yeah. I forgot to mention, he brought on Julia Marley. That's yeah. his older wow, brother. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like 12 of them, but yeah, Julia yeah, Marley so came out. So yeah, yeah like it was nice to see, definitely. What's three things that you've learned from Damien Marley's music? Because what I've learned, there's always a message yeah, yeah, okay. One thing I would say that he has a lot of knowledge. What, what I clocked is on patience. Like when he performed that, I think I, I was assisting the whole time. I wasn't dancing, I was assisting to every word. You know, he's, he's speaking about astrology, he's speaking about mathematics, science, and also. So I say knowledge. He brings a lot of positivity. And I would say the third thing is motivation. Like he motivates you, you know. Especially, you know, you can apply it to your own life if you're going through anything in your life. He's just saying, you know, just keep your head up and just keep going forward. So, yeah, that's the three things I'll say. Knowledge, definitely. positivity, motivation. And constructive, he's very, very constructive. Constructive, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His lyrics are very, very constructive. In what sense, how do you mean constructive? Because, like, does he build a narrative, build a story? And you say constructive. Positive. 
It's lyrics are positive. positive yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes they can hear some of these artists and what they sing and whatnot. It's negative. Right, yeah. yeah you know, yeah, with the slackness and all of that and whatnot. So with Damien Marley, he gives yeah. positive music, constructive lyrics and Oh I get it, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like he's building you up rather than breaking like, rather than like Corrupting your mind. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pushing negative. Yeah, he's the pushing positive. It's always in the music, yeah, yeah. you know, and it's always positive. Yeah. yeah I oh, think it's a good balance because the thing is, I'm not going to lie, of course, I do listen to that that, that kind of music as well. It comes up in a lot of like dance or etc. But I yeah. feel it's a good balance listening to this type of music, just the whole vibration, just all of them from Damien Marley to everyone that was like, that was supporting him, like Quebec yeah. Pyramid, very similar, very positive, like sort of reggae artist. So. Yeah, I think I think I think that's a sort of message as well. So what 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 she was saying about the positivity, I feel like I feel that you need that balance because I do listen to a bit of everything. So, yeah, so it's good to yeah, have that a, sometimes a peace. Good, and like you say, life yeah. life is about balance anyway. Yeah, so it's about that. Yeah, it's listen to that. Wrong with dancer, but sometimes yeah, the slightness can be a bit too exactly much too much. exactly yeah. 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 I'm not gonna go into it too much, but well, we can. Oh, yeah, we, can. Oh, we don't have to go into it too much. But I think, I think, I think, it, I think it, if it just shows a different side of the culture yeah, yeah, yeah. that you know you do have. It's the not more, all just like it's not one, all way. Just one way. One yeah, way. Yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. other sides to the There's culture. Experience, which I think is important, can, definitely, to show the other side of it. Mm. Yeah. And if Damien Marley was to see the video now, see this interview of his supporters. How do you think that will make him feel? Or you guys, the way you guys speak about his music and everything? I think you're awesome. I think he may even try and find me. Hey, you guys, supporters, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I just think, I just think, yeah, I think seeing it, I think he'll be happy yeah. that you know people are appreciating his music. Um, yeah, and, and just appreciating that he's continuing his father's legacy and just adding his own spin to it. So that's I think, that's what I think is important because it's hard when you have a father of such a great legacy to continue it. But I feel that he's done a great job, an amazing job, and he's got his own catalog in his own right. So I feel like yeah, he's just he's just carrying it on and just keep the fire burning. Yeah, that's that's what I say. Yeah. Well, appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Make sure you like, yeah, yeah, comment, yeah. and subscribe, and we're out.